Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how you can share Google storage with your family and friends. All right, let's get into it. All right, if you have a Google account, you have 15 GB of free storage. Now that storage can quickly fill up and the best way to solve that is to simply upgrade to a higher tier. Now, Google One is a paid storage service by Google that you can subscribe for as low as $2 per month, which comes with 100 GB of storage. And the beauty is that you can share the storage with family and friends. Now, to do that, simply go to one.google.com here. And here you see your storage usage. You can see I'm already consuming 38% of my 100 GB. You can see which devices are signed up to, and you can also see which files consume the biggest storage and you can clean up, right? So currently I have this storage here that I'm sharing with my family and friends, and I want to show you how to do that. So simply come to benefits here on the left panel, okay? And then come to this tab here, which says share storage and more. So you can share up to five people and this will help you save your files, data and memories for you and your family and friends. So simply click on view details here and then go to family settings right here. Okay. All right. Now under manage family settings, come to manage family settings right here. Click on manage. Okay. And now here under your family group members, simply click on send invitations here. So I've already sent out some invitations to family and friends, but what you can do is to simply type in their name or email address, and then you can send out an invite. All right. So once your family member gets that invite, now they have access to the subscription plan or the storage plan that you are subscribed to. So for my case, I'm subscribed to 100 GB, which I pay $2 per month. And now I can share the storage with my family members. Now, keep in mind that Google doesn't mix your data with your family members. Each family member's data is separate from the other, right? So the kids have their own storage and your wife has her own storage and the data is completely separate. That is one beauty about this. They don't have to pay their own subscription anymore because this is now shared. So that really helps with billing and, you know, keeping the bills under one roof. All right. So I hope this tip was really useful. And if you like this video, go ahead and give us a like, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.